You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning, and welcome to another video diary. But otherwise, what a bloody lovely day it is today. It's nice, it's not hot, it's just sunny. But you know what? It's, I'm so positive about today. Look at this. We're busting out the bloody sunglasses. It is bloody bright, and I don't want to wince all the way up to campus, because I'm walking up today. Probably haven't worn these sunglasses since I was on holiday. God damn it. And these are the things that uh, made me buy the same style glasses that I've actually got at the moment. But yeah, it's really bright. So it's like the oldest, slowest person I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to go this way. Um, yeah, it's really bright. And I'm walking into the sun up to campus. So may as well pop my shades on. But what's going on today so far? Not an awful lot, to be honest with you. It's just gone past nine o'clock. I don't know what you're expecting to have happened. It's actually half past nine. It's going to be quite an effort to get up to campus um, in the amount of time I've given myself, but I should be able to do it. It takes about 45 minutes. I should get there literally on time, theoretically, although my glasses case is in my back pocket and it's really annoying me because it's wobbling with my bum. But yeah, so what's been going Nothing, really. I got up at seven. I woke up listening to music. Um, which means the music was playing for a good couple of minutes before it woke me up, which is good because I like waking up carefully, but it means that soon I'm going to need a lion. So I'm going to have a lion tomorrow because it's Saturday. I always have lions on Saturday, to be fair, before I go to work. Because basically for the past week, since Lovely left, I've been getting up at half past six, basically, um, which isn't good for me, especially considering last night I tried to watch, I was watching Hannibal and I watched one episode and I'm like, holy shit, I need to watch the next one. So I watched the next one, fell asleep. Uh, so I was up until like, we're not going to go that way, are we? Are we going to try and cut out some of the hill? I don't know it. I'll go this way instead. Um, and I swear it's hillier as well. It's gross that way. Um, yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, I was watching Hannibal and it got to like half past one, two when I fell asleep. And then got up at half past six, so, well, seven. But I've been awake since that time, so that's what matters. Um, got up, sorted out the video, had some breakfast, a cup of tea, orange juice, made my sandwiches, and now we're heading up to campus. Like I say, walking up, lovely weather. Also, <laughs> since I've now don't have a bus pass, like a week earlier than I originally expected to not have one, um, it means that I may as well start walking up. I need to, it's nice weather as well. And it's a good exercise walking up this hideous hill up to campus. So I was gonna do it anyway once the bus pass ran out in about two weeks time, um, which is halfway through Easter. So I've literally only got a week on the bus pass before I lost it anyway. Um, so it's just basically just doing it a week early. Could cycle, but nah. <laughs> Means you gotta wear cycle proof clothes, which I'm not doing. Speaking of cycling though, I do wanna go up cycling around at some point. I'm gonna try and bring you with me on this walk. I'm not gonna waffle all the way, but you know I always waffle when I'm walking on my own. I've got, I didn't bring headphones as well, because I wanna think about stuff on the way up. But yeah, today we are going to have a very productive day. We've got a lecture in 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, boys. Got a lecture in 45 minutes, which we should easily get to. Um, we've then got something ridiculous, like a one, two, three, four hour gap, uh, which point I was planning on going to the library, but because I've lost my bus pass, which was connected to my library card, uh, I can't. So I'm gonna go to the library and get myself a new um, library card, basically. Um, because I need it. <laughs> I need it to get into all the computer science rooms when no one's around and I doubt anyone's going to be around today considering the huge gap and no one goes to either of the lectures anyway. People only usually really turn up for maths on Friday and the math is cancelled so I'm not really holding much much hope for fellow comp size. Maybe Freya's around. Maybe. I don't know. She might be. Probably. It's Freya. Freya's a good girl. Uh, hello bus. I'm just gonna step out. But yeah, so like I say, walking up, we're going to get ourselves a new library card. I'm going to go to the library in order to bash out notes. I'm going to finish all the pattern analysis notes that I need to do so it's ready to type up and then hopefully type them up. Um, likewise with programming, I should be able to get considerably ahead so that I can devote the weekend entirely to pattern analysis um, coursework, which is plenty of time. I say entirely. I'm going to be doing pattern analysis on Sunday. Tomorrow, Saturday, we basically take the day off to a certain extent. Um, we get up, have a lazy day, and then potentially do some work Saturday night, but maybe not. And then Sunday we'll be doing pattern analysis in between 
filming a video for the main channel which is another reason why I want to watch today is because I want to plan out three gaming, uh, three gaming, three main channel videos I've got a blog post already to go up Sunday so that'll be going up um, but I want to plan and get ready to film nearly three main channel videos two are important, one's less so um, so that's the plan Stan because they need to be done while I'm away like uploaded while I'm at home and I won't be able to do that because I won't have Atlas. So I'm planning that and I'm likewise planning uh, stuff to do with what I was talking yesterday about Project Stockholm. So yeah, I'm just wandering up the hill on my own with no music on, planning shit. <laughs> I need to plan, like I say, three videos. One's the blackout thing, one's day 1000 special video for the main channel. Um, it seems weird doing a special, this channel will have its own special video. Um, but the main channel video, but the special video for this will go up before day 1000 because it'll be going up, well I guess next Thursday no, the Thursday after next which will be like day 997 I think, something like that um, and that'll be the day that we're going to go off and do something really fucking cool um, so that's naturally the case but I think doing a special video on this channel is just a bit odd because it's just daily vlogs isn't it? <laughs> How do you do a special daily vlog without doing something especially good on that day? Um, which I hope to be, but knowing me I'll probably be at work. So, do it on the main channel and I'll just link to it. Um, yeah, so that's that. Otherwise, yeah, planning that video, planning another video, the blackout one, which hopefully should go out this weekend. I'm not sure how likely that is, that's not a promise in any, to any length of the word. Um, because obviously I've got to film it and edit it. It might go up midweek, like Wednesday, maybe. But that's the plan, just done. Uh, it's basically my breaks in between work at the moment. Um, and breaks in between other software development for my company. So, I'm gonna put my thinking cap on. I'm gonna stop pestering you for a bit until I've got something interesting to say, instead of just sitting here babbling on about the same, same stuff over and over again, all right? And we're back on the hill, boys. Let's do it. Probably going to end up taking my hoodie off here. Like the first priority is we get there in time. Second priority is that we don't turn up like a like an absolute mess <laughs> having walked up the hill. God damn. Planning away still. Little uh, cycling team there. Going almost as fast as I can walk. God damn. How many times? Stay in a high gear. You get more juice for each push. You just knock yourself out because your feet are spinning and they're not doing anything. <sighs> Noobs. Yeah. And those cycling tips are coming from someone who, after a four hour shift at work, carrying my entire bag of uniform and shoes and shit, uh, gets from, well, two miles away. Well, I guess from, from campus, two miles away from campus, including this hill, in less than 12 minutes. Bit of a beast, <laughs> as it happens. Yeah, It's good for you, this getting fit. Take my hoodie off. It's easier to put it on when I get there than uh, absolutely roasting it now, because it's pretty warm. It's a nice cool breeze on my arms though. Getting a bit of vitamin D for a change. Comp size, not used to this shit. Or 90% of YouTubers for that matter. So what I'm doing now is, I uh, know I said I wouldn't ramble to you. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to reduce how much money I spend on the bus because there's no point getting another bus pass because um, even if when, when my other one ran out I wasn't going to get another one so I've essentially got next week which I'll be going up to campus three, maybe four times um, then two weeks of Easter where I'm obviously not here, not going up to campus I'm not using the bus and then we've got a week of revision lectures which usually aren't on um, so I might be coming up maybe three or four times uh, going up to campus that week uh, and then it's a case of coming over the next three weeks three or four times up and down so for exams and I like walking up in exams unless it's hideous weather Big, well or too hot um, because it wakes you up in the morning gives you a load of fresh air and all that crap so yeah this is my plan. I'm gonna get like a bus ticket. If it's raining, I'm not gonna fucking walk. But while it's nice, be lots more 
rambling talks of me walking up the hill, blabbling to you, saying whatever the fuck comes to my mind next. And it's good to get fit as well. God damn it. Lovely has become a lot more fitter than me. And it's not fair. I need to work on it. Because she goes running and stuff like nearly every day now. She's going on holiday. She's going to be like too good for me. She already is too good for me. She's going to be way too good for me soon. You're going to realise that as well. Shit. <laughs> and we're at the top. Easy peasy. Uh, I've got 20 minutes to get there as well. We're about 10 minutes away. So GG boys. GG. It's not too hot either. If it was any hotter, I wouldn't be able to do that. I need to wear shorts or something. And maybe not this bag. This bag's pretty warm. And to be fair, it's on the fullest day <laughs> that I've brought it. Like a full ass day instead of like a Monday where I've only got like my laptop and notes. I've got like food, water, and it works. So, yeah, could totally do it again. Oh, please, man. Didn't look. No, but the guy in it was very interested in what I was doing. Especially when I looked around at him sheepishly, like trying to figure out if it was a police file or not. Um, so yeah, that was good. I feel awake, I feel alive. I much prefer it when it's freezing cold in winter, but the bus is no cooler, arguably. So we just have to wear shorts next time. Which reminds me, shopping list tomorrow. Oh, we need to write a shopping list today. So we need to plan our food. We're only here for another week, so we need to plan exactly what to buy so we don't have stuff left over or wasted. Right, one lecture down. I've just spent a good amount of time in Ebb uh, doing programming notes and stuff. So I'm now ahead, even, I'll be even ahead when he finishes the programming lecture tonight as well. I'm going to have later. Um, and I'm now going to head to the library and go and get my uh, pattern analysis notes fully finished and up to scratch. Um, it's a bit too distracting working there, I think. And I like going to the library and work, doing work that isn't laptop based. Um, I wouldn't go there to type up notes and stuff. Um, but I like it just to go and like uh, do notes and things like that. So that's good like that. I got a library card, cost me eight quid. But it's a necessity for really, isn't it? So look at this guy. And we're done for the day, headed home. Blimey, what a long day. Having like four hour gap is not something I want to experience on a regular basis. Blimey. Went to the la um, thingy though. Um, library. So our library really doesn't have a lot of space to sit down in actual like quiet sit down space to work. It's really strange. It's like the vast majority of it is just like a normal, it's not loud but it's like a hum. I guess it's quiet for like um, for like a big space of like however many people like 100 plus people but it's about the same volume as like our labs in EB, in EB which are in like aren't quiet at all so it's very distracting i went to the like quiet quiet bits um like i don't like going if i'm gonna type stuff up because i've got to like hammer really hard on the keys and i have a flourish at the end and smash down the enter key and i did a little enter <laughs> um which is why i like having a big enter key basically um but yeah otherwise we've got loads of work done we did the we fully cut well we're ahead on programming notes not very ahead, but pretty ahead. Um, we finished pan analysis notes. We finished systems development notes. Um, typed up systems development notes and typed up the vast majority of programming notes, uh, which is all good. We've also reviewed all of the work for IP and I've distributed what work's left. Um, the report is in for Monday. So yeah, we have been hideously productive today and I'm exhausted because of it. Absolutely exhausted. Um, the good news is, IP work, all of my sections are done. Maybe need to proofread them, make sure that there's no contradictory things in them um, that's contradicting with everyone else's work now that everyone else's work is done. Um, told everyone else what they need to do. Just a case of formatting it into one document, exporting the PDF, and then having the group contribution, group contribution discussions and stuff like that. So yeah, otherwise, I'm going to enjoy a nice lovely walk down the hill in my shoes that are rubbing a little bit. It's very strange. I don't think I've properly worn these in yet, which is why they're, they're a bit uncomfy. But yeah, thinking about swinging by uh, um, the shops like Sainsbury's or whatever to pick up some right guard, which I do need, but might just wait till tomorrow. Or go to like co-op in Thingy, hunt out the best deal and all that crap. 
what a day, what a lovely day. What are we doing tonight? I don't know. Uh, we've got dinner, we have grilled chicken for dinner. Uh, but I might try and, no it is quite summery. I might try and just, like give it a bit of life and attempt to make the recipe a little bit more summery than it otherwise would be. Um, so, chicken. And what have we got to do? We've got a couple more notes to type up, all of the pattern analysis stuff for example. Um, but then otherwise, we've just got, essentially, revision and the pattern analysis coursework to do now. Which is good. We've only got one week left. So, well, three weeks for the pattern analysis, but we've got it over Easter, but... Yeah. So it sounds exciting. Sunshine. Pretty happy with that. Uh, going back to my, uh, my thinking time now with uh, everything that I've got to think about and stuff. I'll not talk too much longer. There's a nice chain of people all walking down all walking down and figuring out when is the most normal time to overtake them. Look at this log, living the goddamn dream. <sighs> Having an absolute whale of a time walking down here. Kinda wanna ring people though, kinda wanna like I'm not the kind of person who can just walk in like silence to myself. I have to talk out loud and stuff. Or talk to you or ring people on the phone. I'm like Dad in that respect. Like Dad never gets into the car and just goes somewhere without talking to someone. He's always on the phone to someone. He always has to ring someone. Very green. Very green. Wait for the hay fever to come. That's what we're not looking forward to, do, you bastards. Something I've noticed as well. One, there's a lot of people move house in this city. It's probably something I noticed because of work, they always ask us for boxes and stuff to move. But also, from where I'm stood, such walking, I can see three different churches. All of them Christian churches. Three different ones. There should be four, but that one got knocked down. Right? And that one there says on the roof, prepare to meet your God. It's a bit fucking terrifying, isn't it? It's a bit threatening. Prepare to meet your God. Also, even though, wait, I thought I knew that guy, never mind. Um, <laughs> Even though we've got timetabled slots for next Friday, we actually don't have any lectures because it's a bank holiday. God damn it, that means I could have gone home on that Friday. Jesus. So, uh, next weekend we'll have Friday off, which is good. Saturday I'll be at work, Sunday I'll be going home. I don't know whether I'm looking forward to going home or not. I think I'd rather stay here. I still disagree with uh, my company for sending me home for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, but what can you do? What can you goddamn do? Nothing, that's what you can do. Don't think anyone's in either when I get in. Beth and Ben, I think, have gone off to Bristol to go see Ben's family, even though next week they're going home. Makes no sense. <laughs> they're going home for a weekend, just before they go home for an entire two weeks. It's madness. Let's talk to lovely about this. No one in her house like, goes home in her house, in her ass, uh, go home to like see family and stuff, or like family never go to their house. Likewise, um, oh dear. Likewise, in our well, me personally, I haven't been home since Christmas. It's bloody great as well. Love it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, lovely. Went home once, but that was for like a present for a bear for a sister. So, just a weird one, isn't it? How a lot of people go home or have family around often and other people just don't. Interesting. This is the worst bit though now, walking home, feeling hungry, but knowing it's too early for dinner. Can't eat until like a good hour and a half. But if I have something, I'll spoil my dinner. It's a fucking hard life. I swear to God. First world problems. Pollen. Right, we're back. It's quite late. Well, it's not quite late. It's just about to turn nine. It's just later than I thought it was. Um, we had a delicious, uh, absolutely delicious uh, grilled chicken, gravy and uh, potatoes and veg and stuff. Um, and I've just come in here. I'm typing up notes on this monitor. And I was just taking a break, scrolling through Tumblr and stuff. <laughs> and oh, God. Tumblr, nine times out of ten, as well, it seems to be, from what I, well, from people's perceptions and from what I follow, is just 90% just, I don't know, just moaning about sexism or stuff like that. It's basically all it is. Wherever and again you get like cool tech stuff. 
or wedding dresses which I follow. Don't don't worry about. That. And usually I just it just it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me in any way, shape or form. Just carry on about your day. It's just the people that I know and like in real life. Just post this kind of stuff. But then someone just re reblogged. And I re replied to this. Um, I feel like the reason so many male YouTubers hate iMovie is because it's so easy and free with your Mac product that means it's super accessible, which means that people who don't have a tech slash filmmaker background and slash or people who are discouraged from entering those fields can use it really easily, no punctuation, uh, to make their videos. And guess who those people tend to be, lol? I literally charged your battery yesterday and you're dying on me, you shit. Uh, to which I replied, I feel the same extent about Notepad. Fuck word processors. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, people just say iMovie's shit to just to keep people down. Yeah, and likewise, likewise why people always say Windows Movie Maker's shit. And why people say Notepad's shit when you're trying to use it to uh, write a book. It's a bit shit to write a book, Notepad. I don't even think it's got a spell check in it. But it's free and accessible and anyone can use it. What a load of crap. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh man, people say it's shit because it's underfeatured and it's poor. God damn it. Just like Windows Movie Maker. I used to use Windows Movie Maker on a daily basis for these videos. <laughs> God damn, but I'd never use it for a main channel video. You know why? Because it's not the best around. It's not even close. And you could just spend like £20 on a piece of software and instantaneously better. And if you're going to fold a Mac, don't come to me and say you oh, can't afford like 40 pounds or something on adobe premiere get out or the million of other free friggin video editing softwares that aren't that that's really bugged me that <laughs> uh, fuck word processors oh they aren't any better notepad's uh, super accessible free and easy to use notepad isn't even the best free option that's my point there notepad plus plus is gg boy should really be careful though last time i waged in on something like this i got friggin <laughs> friggin owned well, I didn't get owned, I just got friggin' literally, um, tsunamied, I guess. <laughs> just crushed under a wave of just people not listening to me. And by not listening to me, like, literally agreeing with my exact point, but then still arguing that I'm wrong. Lunatics. <laughs> Lunatics. People of the internet, don't get in arguments with other people of the internet. We should all just, just get along. Make... Just get along and just don't have arguments and stuff. I'm trying to unplug the charger on my mouse. Right, there we go. Um, it's just the best way. My lord. Anyway, <laughs> breath first searching, boys. And ladies and gentlemen, after a very long day and a very long vlog, um, I finished. I finished all of my note type it up, which is all done here now. <laughs> and I am going to go to bed. Um, oh, la, 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 la. Uh, I'm thinking of having a shower tonight so I can have a lion tomorrow. Oh yeah, like a, I don't know, like a girl who needs to wash my hair in the morning or something. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of having a shower tonight and I'm going to watch Hannibal in bed. And I'm going to drift to sleep. A nice, nice sleep like this. And then also, if I don't have a shower tomorrow morning, that means I can have a shower when I get back in from work tomorrow. Which I prefer. Because otherwise I end up having two showers in one day. Although I guess I'm doing that today. But I've been walking up and down the hill as well, so... But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. You've kept me entertained along the way. Um, also, if uh, you would like some weird sneak peek, because I say that I'm doing things a lot and then sometimes it doesn't get done. Well, oh shit, Jesus Christ. There are two solid new video ideas that I'm going to be filming this weekend. At some point, anyway, probably not tomorrow, because I will be... Um, what will I be doing tomorrow? My work tomorrow, silly. God damn. Yeah, so today's video is a long video, I apologise. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get a video up onto the main channel on Sunday, but otherwise, tomorrow's daily vlog, because I'm at work, will be a nice day off for you. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall catch you later.